We're gonna walk up here on top of one of those rocks. Ah! Let's go. Come on. Today's work is carrying this tire up this mountain that's behind me. We're in, I think, Wildwood near Thousand Oaks. I don't know how far I'm gonna go, I don't know this area, but I'm just gonna do what I know is honest work. And that's something that I want to instill in my mind. Doing activities that force me to live that principle of not looking for the shortcut and simply just doing what's hard because I know that that's what's gonna get me to where I wanna go. Hopefully, this makes you think of something that you can do in your own life to get past looking for shortcuts and just do the honest work. All right, let's go. Oh, let's get it. Let's so go. one thing that's a bit frustrating is this tire digs into you, digging into my right oblique and my shoulders and my traps on the left side, but it's easier than carrying a person, so <laughs> I wonder what's behind that hill. We'll have to find out. <laughs> the move is walk this way and go up that mountain so I can get to the top where those big rocks are. If I stay on this path, it's just gonna take me down this long path and I'm not really going for distance. I want more of a hike up a mountain. I want to actually feel like I'm getting somewhere. It is there's no trail. Digs into your shoulders. Yeah. Definitely uh -huh. not comfortable. I'll tell you that. It's time to carry this thing all the way up. Let's go. Cactus right here. Going up in the fields. Life doesn't give you a clear path. That's why it's important to prepare yourself for that principle by living it. Do things that don't have clear paths. Walk through the terrain. And then, sooner or later, get to a path that's actually not too bad. Oh my god, dude, we could have gone that way, bro. <laughs> that also leads us to another principle. Sometimes we may think harder on ourselves than we need to do. Oh, we've come to a little trail. So it looks pretty hard. Hey, so now, I'm gonna walk up here on top of one of those rocks. So I gotta get this tire. Let's, Let's go. Goes. You lead the way, Rick. Lead me to the promised land. I think there's some strawberries up there. Probably. Strawberries and ice. I think, there, milk. I think there is some uh, blueberries up there for sure. Oh. Right there? I think we should go here. Yeah, we should probably go right here. Let's go, let's go. Come on, come on. Almost there. Look at that. The hardest part is making sure you don't fall when you're lifting this up. Gotta have a lot of balance. Drop that shit. Uh, Boom. I'll consider this the top just because I think going right there, if I fall, I'm dead. It's not worth my life. But hey, we just brought this tire up this mountain. 
Holy shit. The hardest part was lifting the tire, putting it back on myself after I put it down to get some quick rest and making sure that I don't fall afterwards. The balance, that's pretty difficult. I don't recommend you do this. Um, or if you do, at least make sure you're in a safe environment or you don't have some cliffs to fall off. <laughs> but uh, hey, talk about a gorgeous view. Man, the nice view for me is morning, crazy. Right? Wow. Stop looking for shortcuts. See, the reason you're not happy in your life is because you're always looking for the easy way out. You're always looking for that quicker way, that faster way. But anything that's worth having is going to take hard work. Today, I installed that principle on my mind by carrying this tire up this mountain. There was a lot of grass I had to walk through. There was no clear path. It was at some parts. Uh, but even had to, having to make sure that I didn't tip over when I was carrying this thing and fall on the cactus, right? Having the cactus go in my face, that would not have been a pleasant moment. But that was the challenge and the risks that I put on myself because I wanted to make sure that when I got to this point right here, I had this incredible view to enjoy afterwards. So stop looking for shortcuts. Stop looking for easy way outs. Do the hard work because then you'll have that incredible view or whatever the end result is of doing that specific activity that's hard. Stick to the plan. Rick, we got up at, what, 4.30 a.m. on a Tuesday morning to make sure that we can drive an hour to come here. And now we have this incredible view. There's no noise. There's no people around. That's why it's nice doing what you got to do to avoid all that chaos in the world. Be able to enjoy this beautiful moment without a bunch of people around. All because you do what's hard. Get up early. Take a cold shower. <laughs> that was not fun. <laughs> I did not like that today, but hey. It was worth it. If you guys have any ideas for anything that's hard that'll be a good challenge for myself, mentally or physically, uh, let me know. I'm always up for a good challenge, and yeah, it's the best way to grow in your life, guys. For real. Plus, it's a nice way to spend your Tuesday morning. I had to get up at 4.30 to make this happen, but hey, it's definitely worth it.